morning. Good morning, everybody. This is Monday morning, and what happens on Monday morning? You get Merle and Patty. Woo! This is Merle. <laughs> I'm Patty, and it's Monday morning with Merle and Patty, yes. where we talk all oh, things relationships. relationships. Uh, shall we introduce ourselves? Sure. I'm Merle and Singer, the Relationship Miracle Worker. Find me on RelationshipMiracleWorker.com or SingleSuccessfulAndSeeking.com. And this is... Patty Negri. Find me at PattyNegri.com. Find us both on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, all of those places. Hi, Elena. Hi, Donna. Hi, everybody. <laughs> um, so we have a really interesting topic today that Merle came up with because she comes up with all our interesting topics. What are we talking about today, Merle? Well, it, it, this is how I wrote it down. I wrote it down. I'm, I'm going to practice this. Okay. Looking up. It's hard for me to do. Make an actual appointment with each other, just like before you were married. Now, I heard that the reason I happened to think about this was because I heard somebody on a line, on television, I don't know where, or I read it, about somebody uh, making fun of uh, a married couple because Oh, they had to make a date with each other in order to to spend some time. And I thought, yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's what they have to do. I mean, why is life different before you're married and after you're married, except for the kids? Uh, <laughs> so uh, I think it's, I think making a date says, I intentionally want to choose to spend time with just you. Yeah. It's great. My, my husband and I have to do it for one or we'd never see each other because I have an insanely busy life and he has a pretty busy life. So we would pass and they're very separate lives, which we like, we, we enjoy that, but we have to consciously make time together, whether it's we're going to have coffee for 15 minutes in the morning or spend half an hour before we go to bed uh, on, on days we can't do that or date nights. And we really do have very specific date nights right. Right. and we love it. Right. And we always have had that and uh, it has... It's easier without people, without, with an empty nest, so to speak. When the kids were in nest, <laughs> mm. uh, it was really important to make specific times that we um, spend time together. It could have been carving out some time when the kids were asleep. It could be making sure to get a babysitter. It could be taking the kids to see the grandparents and drifting off somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, you know, what you do depends on your life. But the thing that is consistent throughout all of these issues or, or experiences or episodes or whatever you want to call them is the intentionality. Yeah. It's your spouse, your partner, your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever, is as important enough for you to, I, I, I think the word appointment is funny, but I kind of like it, or date. <laughs> I mean, you make your appointment to go get your teeth clean, you take the dog to the vet, <laughs> you, uh, I, and well, have I make, sex. And have sex, <laughs> and make it all for, you know, if you, you know, appointment or date, whatever, it, 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 it's a priority and it's an important, and, and again, it gives you that focus time. And then you can get dressed up. I remember a few years back, I remember a girl, she really coached me well. I think I wasn't in my best space. I've been in my not best space many times. And she's like, do you <laughs> yeah. ever get out of your sweats? And I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> and I thought about it. She was like, why? Well, why, why don't you do it for your husband once in a while? That's so again, and I, and I did, and it was just a momentary thing that I went through, not feeling good about myself, so therefore you hide under your sweats. And who hasn't done that? Raise your hand. Okay. Um, but it, all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, this is date night. Whether we're going to just even sit home and watch TV, or go out to a movie, or go someplace fancy, or go to the park, or take the dog down Hollywood Boulevard, which is our favorite. 
<laughs> and all of a sudden, yeah, even if you have your sweats, I'm going to put on some lipstick. I'm going to do something to make me feel good. It's not just for your spouse. Yes. You've got to do it for yourself and for them and let them know they're important enough. Yes, yes. And it's nice if you have a date night for you, if you need to help them remind them that not only do you get dressed up nice, but they do too. Well, it, you know. To the extent they're able. <laughs> <laughs> she has a very stylized, cute husband, I must <laughs> Yeah, you're all hippies. Good. <laughs> That's it. He, he is. He's a hippie happy. artist. He's a That's hippie it. artist. <laughs> and it's, it's a good look. I like it. She's gotten used to it. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Which um, gives us another topic of uh, partners is... Blending with each other. Oh, my story is uh, always uh, when Nathan and I went to buy uh, suitcases. You know, I said, okay, we want really good suitcases. And um, he liked this. It was horrible. I liked this. He thought it was horrible. We tried this. No, not this. And we ended up with something that we both said, oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't the perfect thing, but it was acceptable. <laughs> For both of you. Yes, yeah. yes. That's married life. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get the pretty pink one. We didn't get the solid black one. We met somewhere in the middle. You know, you know, what's really important is that's what we need to do as a nation. That's what we need to do in neighborhoods. You're nobody in the world is even supposed to get everything they want all the time. Nobody. And no one's going to agree on everything all the time. We're individuals. So what does that mean? It means that if we're never going to agree, then we're going to have to make compromises. We're going to have to go with it was kind of a blue plaid suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cute, nice colors, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, and I think a lot of people think, oh, my marriage must be awful because, you know, I'm not getting everything I want and life isn't perfect. And, well, duh, that's what you have a partner for is to help you through life not being perfect. Yeah. And that means life isn't perfect with him or her either. And that that's part of the lesson that we each have to learn is how to be happy in, in, in approximations of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think it's really valuable. And again, and that, that, that turns into gratitude, which is a whole other subject. But that gratitude subject, it's that yes. be happy for what you do have, not... Sit in what you yes. don't have. Be happy for what you yes. do have. Let that grow. Yes. All the stories we give. The glass half yes. full. Feed the good wolf. Blah, 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 blah. It's true. Make a, make a date with your honey and talk about how fabulous you are. That's it. And how fabulous he is. Yeah. How fabulous you each are. Yes, that's it. That's all we have to say. Yeah, done. That is like, nobody is perfect and I love my pajamas too. <laughs> I raise a hand to that. I love my pajamas. I do too, but every once in a while we gotta get out of them. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying get out of them every day. Uh, well, anyway, we won't go. Into that. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, make a date with your, especially if they're Hi, not Joy. expecting it. Hi, Joy. <laughs> ah! Oh, Joy Cough is watching. You can. You want to meet us live? You want to come to Texas? We are doing the most amazing three, four day conference. It's our, our annual Embrace Your Spirit conference, but we've got a little bit of a Halloween theme. It's yes, psychics and intuitives and ghosts. Oh yes. my. Oh, We're my. flying to Texas on Halloween. We're doing a Halloween seance. We're doing a ghost tour somewhere in that yes. Dallas, Louisville yes. area. We're each teaching workshops. Yes. We're doing what we do. It's all empowering, good, positive, yes. magical stuff. And, and it's in Texas. It's in Texas. Take a trip. It'll be fun. It's easy. To, it's Texas, the Dallas area is easy to get to. Yes. Um, it's kind of a hub city, so it's not expensive. Like some cities are expensive to get to. Right. Dallas isn't. So we would right. love to see you. Yes. And you get both of us at once and the beautiful ah. joy. And you get Shauna Grace and you get Sheena Metal. 
it, it's a party in Texas. You come and come. And that's October 31st through November 3rd. I yes, think. it is. So it's on both of our pages it's yes, at yes. miraclesofjoy.com. I'm guessing I don't have it in front think of me. So. Um, Joy, you could write that out if you want to. Type it out what the Miracles of Joy is, um, how to get to our site. But I've been posting it a lot and she's been posting it a lot. So join us there. Yes, yes. And make a date with us. Make a date. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Show us how important we are to you. <laughs> I can take this a whole different direction right now. It's because I have new hair. Yes. Do you love her hair? I, I spent too long at the Denver airport yesterday. They sent me out hours early and it was either eat bad food I didn't need to eat or shop for fake hair. I bought a lot of fake hair. <laughs> that is brilliant. It was brilliant. It, anything eat, not to eat. Eat a bunch of bad food. <laughs> Um, and I must say, I was really excited. I just have to tell you, it's going to not air for a couple of months, but I finally got to be on George Nori. I did Beyond Belief with George Nori. Uh, he's on Gaia.com, uh, BeyondBelief.com. It's a subscription service. It's the same guy. Almost the whole world listens to, goes to sleep to him on coast to coast every night, syndicated across the planet. Um, so I'm going to be doing that too and some other things with him. But we just taped Beyond Belief TV show in Denver, Boulder area. And um, life is good. I'm grateful. Life is good. <laughs> and before we get off, don't forget, tonight at 8 o'clock is Merle's Pearls. I have my brilliance expanded exponentially. Mm. Be sure to listen. And it's her wisdom on relationships from her beautiful book, yes. Cracking the Relationship Code. Ooh. Tonight we'll cover page 21. <laughs> So it's, it's like a workbook. It's fabulous. So get her book. Get my book, which I, I'm invisibly yes. holding it up. Old World Magic for the oh, Modern World. I have my copies of Yeah, My copy's in the car. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? It's okay. We advertise it enough. But more than anything else, just grab your own life into your... Ah, Sebastian, how are you? <laughs> Greetings, San Francisco. He is Merle. <laughs> oh, yes, he was Merle two weeks ago. We have the person who was Merle two weeks ago. <laughs> I'm Merle. Um, yes, I am Merle. <laughs> so have fun. We missed you this morning at the lake. Uh, that's we enough. saw a beautiful deer. We're getting off the air now. Okay, she said that's enough. She said let's get off. She likes these short and sweet. So yes. PattyNegri.com, MerleSinger.everything, or Relationship, Relationship Miracle Worker. Miracle Worker. Okay. See, tune in tonight, 8 p.m. Pacific time for Merle's Pearls. See us next week, same time, same place. Like us, follow us, love us, and date your significant other. And, and ask any questions you want. We'll cover them if you ask them. Okay. Bye. Bye.